Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at ntpro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you some troubleshooting regarding distributed virtual switches. So this is my lab environment, the same environment we are also using during the troubleshooting training courses over at VMware. And on this host I am hosting several virtual machines and the Windows XP virtual machines B, C and D are present on Hippo 02 and on the other host Hippo 06 if I look at the virtual machines I can see virtual machine A hosted over here so when I'm going to this resource pool and for instance jump to virtual machine D and I'm trying to ping the IP address of virtual machine B which is hosted on the same ESX host then I get a nice reply from virtual machine B so let's check if virtual machine C is also responding yes there's no problem with virtual machine C but when I'm trying to ping to virtual machine A I see that there's no response so let's jump to the distributed virtual switch configuration and you can find it under home networking and then we can see that we have a nice configured production network and all the virtual machines are configured with the same production network so that's a bit strange because virtual machine A is hosted on the other ESX host but it still is configured with the right switch so you see it right here when I'm going to home networking I can see virtual machine A hosted on ESX 6 and virtual machine A, uh, D, C, D and B on ESX 02 so there must be something else wrong um, so let's try something else uh, if I'm going to host in clusters am I able to migrate this virtual machine with vMotion from ESX2 to ESX6 I'm right clicking the virtual machine I'm choosing for the option migrate and I'm trying to migrate this virtual machine to the other host to ESX6 in the resource pool everything succeeded high performance so I'm trying to migrate this virtual machine with the motion to the other host and there's also a problem right here so there seems to be a problem with both the vMotion network and the virtual machine network in this case you might want to check out uh, VMK ping and try to see if both kernel port groups are able to ping each other but when both the vMotion network is broken and the production network is broken you might want to check out if the physical network cards that are configured on the DV uplink port groups are okay so the first step you must look is at home networking and when you are going to the properties of your distributed switch then you can see uh, which settings are on this switch so there's no port blocking there's no policies overridden port blocks is on no so everything looks okay right here so there is an, another problem I think uh, the production port the production switch is uh, on ephemeral binding no binding the virtual machines are attached to ports the link state is up there's no blocking it's a bit strange so the production switch when we are going to the production switch we want to see which network adapters are configured and on SC Hippo 02 we can see that network adapter 2 is configured on and that's a bit strange on ESX 06 VMNIC 1 is configured so let's hop over to ESX 6 and let's take a closer look at the physical network cards ESX 6 configuration networking we are jumping to the IO plane to the distributed switch and we see the switch the production switch right here this part this part is that was the failure message of vMotion this part is controlled by the vCenter server but what do you have to do on the, on the switch itself, on the ESX host itself you have to assign a physical network card to each DV uplink port when I'm clicking on the info 
right here. I can see that I'm using gigabit port 28 and this physical network card um, this physical network card is living in VLAN ID 1. Okay, so let's take a closer look at ESX02. When we are going to configuration, networking, distributed switch, and we are opening the DV uplink port, we can see the physical configuration of VMNIC2. And this card is also connected to a Cisco switch, but there's something different. This card is using port 9 and it's in physical VLAN ID 20. So the problem here is that VMNIC1 and VMNIC2 are both in separate VLAN IDs and they cannot see each other. I think when we are scrolling down to VMotion we can see a similar problem because VMotion also didn't work and VMotion is using VMNIC1 on um, ESX02 and I think the cards are switched. It's using VMotion is using VMNIC2 on 06. So if we want to correct this error, we simply remove VMNIC2 from uh, the VMotion kernel port group. I have to do it the other way around. VMNIC2 should be VMotion. VMNIC1 should be the production port group. ESX2 is the one that is, is misconfigured. The cards are switched on the ESX2. Um, in this case, I have to configure uh, another physical network adapter on my production port group. And when I'm going to my production port group, I'm removing VMNIC2 from this switch and I'm adding VMNIC1. I'm stealing it away from the VMotion switch. And let's check if Emotion is configured correctly. I don't think so. You see the, the message right here. No physical adapters are configured at this switch. So we have to add VMNIC2 to this switch. Unclaimed adapters. Okay. Okay. So the problems are corrected, I think. But we have to verify if we really are able to ping the other hosts. So let's see if we are able to ping Virtual Machine A. That's working. And I think I can also uh, migrate Virtual Machine B to uh, 06. Let's try it. Change host. 06. Next. Next. Finish. And we can see the progress bar right here. And it's not stopping at 10%, but it's running the VMotion. Succeeded successfully. Okay, so this was a bit of troubleshooting. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back with other awesome videos. Bye-bye, Eric Sloof is signing off.